You're in the Atacama Desert in northern Chile, one of the driest places on Earth. But this desert has a beautiful secret. Every three to five years, flowers pop up out of nowhere. It's so famous, it's also called the flowering desert. Seeds lie around in the ground just waiting for some rain. When the desert gets enough water, about 200 types of flowers sprout up. The yellow sands of the Atacama turn purple, white, green, and even pink. Another mystical phenomenon that can be seen in the desert is called a sand waterfall. When the wind brings a lot of sand to the edge of the canyon, it begins to fall down. Now amplify this effect 100 times and you get a sand waterfall in Saudi Arabia. It really is like Niagara Falls, only there's not a drop of water. The locals say this phenomenon warns of an impending sandstorm. Fairy rings, also known as elf rings or pixie rings, are mysterious circles of mushrooms that appear in grasslands and forested areas. There's a lot of debate about why these fairy rings form a nearly perfect circle. Some superstitions claim that fairy dances would burn the ground, causing mushrooms to rapidly grow. In southern India, between July and September 2001, people witnessed one of the strangest weather phenomena in recorded history. The rain was red. What many would have thought to be a typical rainstorm left them shocked. The color was bright enough to stain clothes. There were other colors too, such as green, yellow, brown, and even black. In the middle of a monsoon, red rain started to fall, and so did periodically for several weeks. Researchers have found this unusual rain is stained either by dust or algae, so don't try to catch any on your tongue. Scientists aren't entirely sure how the algae got all the way up there. This does make events like this a little unsettling. Now, people who live in rural central Norway over the Hestalen Valley can often witness floating lights of white, yellow, and red cross the sky. The lights appear both at day and night, and once back in the 80s, <clears throat> the 1980s, they were spotted 15 to 20 times in a single week. The Hestalen lights can last just a few seconds, but sometimes they can last more than an hour. The lights move, seeming to float or even sway around. Some scientists believe that the reason for these lights is due to ionized iron dust. Others say it's a combination that includes sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Many people claim they're just misidentified aircrafts. Norway! Snow donuts are one of the rarest meteorological sites to see, with perfect weather conditions needed just to create them. Found in any snow-covered mountain area, like the Rocky Mountains, the wind, temperature, snow, ice, and moisture all have to work together for us to see these phenomenal rings. A thin layer of wet snow on the ground. Under that layer, ice or powdered snow. Then, a strong enough breeze to roll the donut down a hill, just like a snowball. Once it stops rolling, it can be the size of a baseball or as large as a car tire. It all depends on how strong the wind is. A newly formed snow donut won't stay around for very long, so hurry up with that camera and watch your head. Can you believe there's another place on Earth with its own ecosystem and atmosphere, similar to another planet? Well, start believing. Movil Cave, located in southeastern Romania, remained closed in complete darkness for a whopping 5.5 million years. It wasn't until workers discovered the cave, when they were looking for a place to build, that anyone learned about it. Scientists carved out an opening to the cave and found that a completely sustained ecosystem was thriving inside. As a pathway was carved through the rock past numerous tunnels, scientists found a lake of sulfuric water that stank like rotten eggs. The air was filled with hydrogen sulfide and had 100 times more carbon dioxide than Earth's atmosphere contains. Needless to say, this air is completely toxic. What's even crazier is that a whole ecosystem has been existing in this cave, with 33 species that can't be found anywhere else on Earth. This cave gives us a glimpse of what could possibly exist on other planets with completely different atmospheres. How it managed to exist on Earth all this time without anyone knowing is rather unbelievable, isn't it? Now, check these trees out. They're called Indian rubber trees. 
their strong roots grow not underground, but on the surface. With the help of special frames and fasteners, people have learned to control how these roots grow. Let's say a tree is next to a small pit. You need to make a bridge from one end of this pit to the other. You direct the growing tree roots in the needed direction. Over time, the roots penetrate the ground and strengthen under endless downpours. It takes about 15 years to create one bridge. Here's another amazing tree called the Tree of Life. It grows in Bahrain's desert. The tree has been standing on top of this sandy hill for more than 400 years, surrounded by miles of sand. It's extremely hot here, and there's no moisture. But despite this, the tree has green leaves, and it continues to grow. So far, scientists haven't figured out yet how the tree gets moisture and nutrients. There are only places with oil deposits around. Locals think the tree is sacred. After all, it demonstrates the magic of life and the power of nature. Some experts are sure it's all about the roots. They go so deep that they can reach underground sources of water. So, there you are. You've been driving for hours through the night. You didn't have any chance to sleep, so your mind is hanging by a thread. You stop the car and go out to stretch your limbs. And then you look up into the sky and see a beautiful sunrise. Whoa, wait. There are three suns in the sky. You rub your eyes, but nope, there's still three bright stars in the sky. Now, our home star hasn't been torn into three pieces, nor has it been visited by two other stars. This is called a sun dog. It occurs mostly during severe frosts. Small ice crystals in the sky bend the light. As a result, you may see three bright spots in the sky instead of just one. This phenomenon is officially called a halo. Usually, it's just a circle around the sun. You can even see a halo at night, too. Just look at a street lamp, and you'll see a bright circle around it. Sometimes, a halo can take on a fancier shape. If there's a lot of ice in the air, the light is warped even more. Just like in a room with a dozen mirrors. Then, the halo can take on the shape of a human eye. Now, picture this. You're watching a volcano erupt, which is a scary view by itself. But suddenly, you notice ominous bright flashes lighting up the sky over the volcano. It takes the nightmarishness of the experience to a whole new level. One causes static electricity, which occurs when dense ash particles rub together not very high above the ground. The other source of volcanic lightning is high above the surface, near the stratosphere, where chaotically moving ice crystals set free powerful jolts. Salar del Uni feels like you're standing on top of a large mirror, but it's actually a salt flat of more than 4,000 square miles. It's located in Bolivia, South America's highest elevated country. This natural mirror is a remnant of prehistoric lakes that had evaporated a long time ago. Even though it may look flat, GPS technology proved that some of the landscape has some little defaults that are all less than an inch small. The place is so bogged that it has around 10 billion tons of salt. If you get there at the right time, some of the nearby lakes overflow with a small layer of water, which acts as the mirror of the sky. Many locals extract salt and lithium from there. Don't forget to pass by the world's first salt hotel when you visit. You can find a real rainbow mountain in Peru. Scientists still can't explain it. The colorful peak is hard to reach, but seeing the blue, red, green, yellow, and pink colors in nature is something to remember. Now, what looks like frozen flying saucers is, in fact, pockets of highly flammable and combustible methane gas. Trapped underwater, it forms psychedelic landscapes and stunning patterns. Typical for northern lakes, such as Lake Abraham in Alberta, Canada, these bubbles appear when dead animals, leaves, and plants fall into the water and get consumed by bacteria. These bacteria later excrete methane gas. Wow, I can smell it from here! In late March 2018, Eastern Europe witnessed an event as beautiful as it was spooky. Skiers glided down tangerine slopes under the red-tinted sky. Puzzled and excited, people described this experience as walking on Mars or skiing down sand dunes. But however mysterious this phenomenon seems, it has a disappointingly simple explanation. The sponsor of the extraterrestrial landscape was a powerful sandstorm that had arrived from the Sahara Desert. 
This storm had brought along dust, sand, and pollen particles that colored the snow orange. It's not a one-time natural phenomenon. Meteorologists say that orange snow covers the lands of Eastern Europe at least once every five years. Meanwhile, don't eat the orange snow. On February 20th and 21st of 2018, people in the northeastern part of the U.S. experienced one of the most extraordinary weather events of recent times, and it was a heat wave. Yep, in February. In fact, it was the most impressive winter heat wave since official weather records started in the 1800s. For example, in Freiburg, Maine, people were taking off their coats after the temperature had risen to a baffling 70 degrees Fahrenheit. In Fitchburg, Massachusetts, confused people put on sandals when they saw the temperature outside 80 degrees. The same was happening in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, where the temperature reached 83, and in Wells, Maine, where the thermometer showed 77 degrees. Now, around 11,000 years ago, in present-day Turkey, with no cities or metal tools whatsoever, some incredibly skilled craftsmen completed Gobekli Tepe, how they managed to chip and lift limestone blocks three times as heavy as a T-Rex, and what they symbolize is still unknown. Ooh. One mind-blowing fact about Devil's Tower in Wyoming, USA, is that scientists can't explain how it came to existence in the first place. You see, it's an 867-foot rock formation with walls so steep they're basically vertical. This piece of stone just arose amid the rolling plains of Wyoming with nothing like it for miles and miles around. So how is it that such a flat landscape could have suddenly given birth to something so tall? Theories abound, but nobody has the answer yet. Croatia's Pletvica Lakes National Park is a major tourist attraction and a world heritage site, with many unique animals and plants teeming around. It looks like an epic movie set, with infinite waterfalls flowing from every direction and the clear lakes all around. In the mid-1980s, a scuba diver discovered the Yanaguni Monument off the coast of Japan. Scientists are positive this collection of structures is thousands of years old, but they still can't decide if it's natural or man-made. In case it proves to be an ancient city, the new mystery is what lost civilization built it and how did it make it to the bottom of the sea? The shape and formations of these rocks aren't a result of some human's work. They were created by intense volcanic eruptions. Scientists are still confused why the Giant's Causeway in Ireland is shaped in such a weird way. Back in 1812, for an unknown reason, an English farmer paid a local painter to remove tons of soil on a hillside and fill the contours with chalk. The painter ran away with the money, so the farmer had to pay a second time to get the Alton Barn's white horse finished. Black Falls in Iceland get their name from the dark lava columns surrounding it. The base of the waterfall has sharp rocks. The entire structure was the inspiration for Icelandic architecture seen in some of their famous buildings. You can see hair ice in the forest on a humid winter night. Resembling cotton candy or a white hair wig, unusual ice crystals grow on rotting wood. Unfortunately, this beauty melts as soon as the sun comes up. Only recently have scientists discovered what creates hair ice. All this time it was, are you ready? Fungus. Yep. It allows the ice to form super thin hairs and helps them to support this form throughout the night. When this particular type of fungus isn't present, instead of fragile hair, ice forms a crust-like structure. Kwajan Volcano in Indonesia is not your ordinary lava-belching mountain. Instead of producing black smoke and red lava, as most volcanoes do, this eccentric guy lets out a blue flame and electric blue lava. This phenomenon occurs because the volcano contains some of the highest levels of sulfur in the world. And when the sulfuric gases interact with scorching air and get lit by the molten lava, they start to turn blue. Unfortunately, you can see this mesmerizing sight only at night, but you can smell it all day long. By the way, the world's largest acid lake is also located inside this crater. The Dead Sea has a high concentration of salt and minerals compared to other seas, even though it's technically a lake. Swimming is almost impossible, but people go there for the natural chemicals for the body. Floating on the surface is a great way to relax. 
This ancient body of water got its name because no macroscopic organisms can live there since it's 9.6 times saltier than oceans. Only a few bacteria and fungi can be found enjoying the salt. It's also Earth's lowest elevation on land at 1,400 feet below sea level. An underground crystal cave exists in Mexico, and it looks like some interstellar world. It's roughly 1,000 feet beneath the surface, with each spike measuring up to 35 feet in length and weighing up to 55 tons. These are some of the largest crystals in the world. Luskentire Beach is an endless strand of white sand dunes in azure water. But don't let the tropical vibes fool you. It's located in Scotland. That's why it mostly looks like this during May and June only. In December, the place gets only an average of one hour of sunshine per day, making it way more dramatic in monochrome. The Georgia Guidestones is a collection of giant stones in a star pattern. It has inscriptions in eight languages, including Hindi, Chinese, and Swahili. It also has an astronomical calendar finished in 1980 and was built the last centuries. No one knows who built it or why. All the way over in sunny California is Sequoia National Park, home to the giant forest. It's been around for thousands of years. More than 8,000 of these colossal trees rule the land including 10 of the largest living plants in the world. The General Sherman Sequoia is estimated to be up to 2,700 years old and is recognized as the world's largest known living tree by volume. The famous stone heads of Easter Island have been around for hundreds of years. No one knows exactly why they were built. Some scientists think that local people believe the statues would make the soil more fertile. Soil analysis proved the heads did their job well. It's the best agricultural spot on the island. The chemical composition of the ancient hot springs in Pamukkale, Turkey, makes the water pouring over the edge look magical. They're not only good for cleansing your body, but the mind, too. All the way in Saudi Arabia is a rock sliced perfectly in the middle with two pieces sitting parallel. What makes al Nasla so unique is that it wasn't artificially done, but is a result of nature's work over the years. Now this glacier may look like someone dropped tons of red paint in the middle of Antarctica, but it's actually the natural color. Blood Falls is a result of extreme salted water mixed with iron oxide, giving out this eerie vibe in the middle of nowhere. In early May 2018, New England observed one of the scariest and most dangerous phenomena ever – a super long-track tornado. The frightening natural phenomenon started not far from Charleston, New Hampshire, and traveled toward the town of Webster in Merrimack County. It took the tornado 33 minutes to cover 36 miles and become the third on the list of the longest track tornadoes in New England. In the Philippines, you can swim in some of the most crystal clear waters and discover an underwater world below you in the province of Palawan. The municipality of Koran has white sandy beaches with many small boats riding through the many amazing sceneries. Tristan da Cunha is a small volcanic archipelago in the Atlantic, with the only neighboring cities of Buenos Aires, Argentina, and Cape Town, South Africa. It takes seven days by ship to get to this unique place. If you want to escape from the rest of the world, staying with the 280 locals will make you feel like you're away from everything. During the first week of January 2018, Unusually cold weather in the northeast United States froze the Atlantic Ocean in North Falmouth, Massachusetts. What's more, the ocean was frozen so thoroughly that people were walking on the waves. Now, that's obviously something you don't see every day. Red sand is what makes this beach unique and why tourists flock to Tianjin, China. A red-colored plant called the Sueda salsa dwells in the salt water. The whole beach is covered in red, with only the top layer of the sea visible. If there ever was a thing that said, I defy gravity, out loud, it's the stone of Davasco in Argentina. The huge 300-ton boulder stands precariously on the edge of a cliff and rocks a little bit from side to side in the wind. People even checked it by putting glass bottles under one of its edges. They exploded with another movement of the rock. Unfortunately today, you can't see this wonder of nature as it was a century ago. In 1912, the boulder suddenly dropped from its perch, which it had occupied for literally hundreds of years. 
The people of the nearby town of Tandil were so sad about this event that 95 years later, in 2007, they decided to restore the stone. They made a plastic replica of the rock and put it on the same spot and even in the same position. So, even today, coming by Tandil, you can see its famous balancing boulder. More of a symbol now, of course, because it's no longer rocking and only weighs 9 tons, but instantly recognizable nonetheless. The Batageka crater in Siberia looks like a doorway to the underworld. It's about a half mile long and over 280 feet deep, but it never stops growing. As it gets deeper, it exposes more underground layers. The layers show what our planet looked like thousands of years ago, as the slumps reveal the used-to-be climates. The crater appeared back in the 60s, and it all started with rapid deforestation. Trees no longer cast shade on the ground, and it got hotter. The permafrost melted, resulting in the crater formation. The throbbing hum in Taos, New Mexico has driven locals wild since the 1990s. The low-frequency hum deprives people of sleep and depletes their energy. Even though scientists have tried to find the source of the hum, they still haven't pinpointed its origin. Different variations of the hum have also been heard in the UK, Australia, Canada, and other areas of the US. Luckily, only about 2% of the world's population can hear it. The hums have been blamed on mechanical devices, multiple disturbances of auditory systems, and even animals. The West Seattle hum, for example, was blamed on toadfish. Fairy rings, also known as elf rings or pixie rings, are mysterious rings of mushrooms that appear in grasslands and forested areas. There's a lot of debate about why these fungi form a nearly perfect circle. Some superstitions claim that fairy dances would burn the ground, causing mushrooms to rapidly grow. In Costa Rica, there's an assortment of about 300 spherical stone balls. Locals call them las bolas, which is simply the balls in English. These stones have an almost perfect round shape. Some of them are huge, weighing up to 16 tons each. They're also made of different materials – gabbro, limestone, and sandstone. They're considered to have been put in straight lines in front of the chief's houses, but there's no precise information of their origin. Some myths claim that these stones originated in Atlantis. Mm. If you ever travel to the Mekong River in late October, you have a chance of seeing glowing balls rising from the water and beelining up into the air. Locals call these glowing balls the Naga Fireballs. The size of the lights vary. The reddish balls can be as tiny as a spark and as large as a basketball. There can be dozens to thousands of balls a night. Scientists don't have any solid explanation for why it happens, but it could be due to flammable gases released by the marshy environment. Some superstitious locals are sure it's all because of a giant serpent living in the Mekong. Great balls of fire! In Minnesota, on the north shore of Lake Superior, there's a park known for the Devil's Kettle. This is a waterfall that splits in two. One part of the river continues, while the other part disappears into a hole in the ground. Whatever object you throw into the Devil's Kettle won't reappear. Scientists still haven't fully explained where the water that drops into the hole goes. Devil's Kettle is considered to be unsafe for people because it's nearly impossible to trace the flow. Yeah, not a place to go tubing. Grunions are fish known for their bizarre mating ritual. The females climb out of the water and onto the shore. They dig their tails into the sand in order to lay eggs. The legs stay hidden in the sand, waiting. Ten days later, the high tide comes, washing the newly hatched young to the sea. Scientists still can't give any solid explanation for this way of breeding. People who live in rural central Norway over the Hestalen Valley can often witness floating lights of white, yellow, and red cross the sky. The lights appear both at day and night, and once back in the 80s, they were spotted 15 to 20 times in a single week. The Hestalen lights can last just a few seconds, but sometimes they can last more than an hour. The lights move, seeming to float or even sway around. Some scientists believe that the reason for these lights is due to ionized iron dust. 
Others say it's combustion that includes sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Many people claim they're just misidentified aircrafts. Yellowstone Park has a famous boiling lake, but it's not the world's only place of boiling water. Deep in the Amazon, there's the 4-mile Chanay Tempishka River that's always hot. The name means boiled by the sun. Well, it's not exactly boiling, but it can reach 196 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to cook pasta. Ooh, let's try that. The lowest temperature in these waters is about 113 degrees. This river still can't be scientifically explained because it would require close proximity to a volcano for the water to reach such temperatures. However, the closest volcano is 400 miles away. But there could be a fault between the Earth that could explain this phenomenon. In western Venezuela, locals living close to the Catatumbo River aren't afraid of lightning because they see it almost every single night. It starts at around 7 o'clock and doesn't stop until dawn. The everlasting Catatumbo lightning did once stop for a few months, from January to March 2010. It was probably due to drought, or maybe the charge ran out. In 1991, a scientist suggested that the phenomenon happens because of cold and warm air currents meeting in the area. Another theory is that the lightning could be due to the presence of uranium in the bedrock. Speaking of lightning, I got a bolt! Bye! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side!